morning, everyone. We will proceed with the uh, ceremonies that are about to take place on the common. This is the 157th observance of the day in our country. And if my math is correct, it's the 50th anniversary of the mo militias coordinating and participating in the day's ceremonies and street parade honoring our veterans. <clears throat> it is with our special pride and honor that we pay grateful tribute to those citizens who served in our armed forces as well as those who gave their lives in defense of their country. May their heroic deeds never be forgotten. We'll now come to order for today's ceremonies. Welcome to the proceedings, and I want to introduce the uh, people that are seated behind me. And I'll start, well, in the order they see them. Uh, let's see. Leon Gonzalez is here. And you are, sir? Oh, Nick, okay, Nick Massey, welcome. Sivo Leary, I know you, <laughs> and I know Linda, and I know Rich, and I know uh, Brad, and Ke is it Kevin? Kevin? Yep, so very good. And let me just, I wanted to, and Susan Magna, where is Susan? There she is, hiding behind her, that's right, John Murphy, okay. And Michael Gilberto, and who did I miss? I only Okay. Oh, Sats. Very good. Donald. Yeah, very good. Thank you for being here. I want to make just a couple of comments before before we uh, go a little bit further. I want to pay special tribute to a couple of people, a few people actually. Our honorary parade marshals today are Linda and Rick Stratton. And my goodness, I don't, wouldn't know where to begin. I mean, the, the, the list goes on and on for all the, uh, uh, there we go, for all the uh, organizations and activities that you are involved in and participate in, uh, a Vietnam combat veteran, and uh, you're involved with all kinds of organizations here in town. And I just, the list is in the paper, folks. Look at the transcript on Thursday. It goes on and on. but. The thing that I wanted to really commend to you and to Linda uh, is the fact that I think you two, more than anybody else, has been responsible for keeping this going and keeping our involvement in this parade and the ceremonies going. And we appreciate that. Uh, he's been captain for many years in, the, in our company. And Linda was right there at his side with everything. All the time. That's, that's, that's quite a team, team effort. So we appreciate that. And Susan Magna, you're stepping down from your position in just a few days. And we want to wish you all the best as you retire. You've done yeoman's work for all the vets and everybody con connected with the parade here. It's, uh, your enthusiasm is contagious. And we wish you well and you will be missed. With that said, thank you. With that said, I'm going to ask Pastor Kevin Mickle to step forward for the inv invocation. Thank you. Would you all join me in prayer, please? Our gracious Lord and Heavenly Father, we come before you now as a community and as a nation to collectively pause and remember the sacrifice of all those who gave their lives for the freedom of our country. We pray especially for the families of the fallen, that you give them comfort and peace as they memorialize their loved ones. Father, let all that we do here this morning be pleasing in your sight. Let us mark this solemn occasion with a proper feeling in our hearts. Watch over us and let us bring honor to each other and to your holy name, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you. Thank you, Pastor. We'll now have the presentation of colors by the uh, U.S. Marine Corps unit that's with us from Fort Devens. 
and that will be followed by the Star Spangled Band or by the North Reading High School Band. Thank you. We're most pleased to honor all our veterans today. We thank each of you for your dedication, service, and sacrifice during our country's most perilous times. We also thank all active service men and women who have joined with us today in our, in our ceremony and the, the parade that's about to take place. And again, we take special note of the U.S. Marine Corps Guard positioned off to my right. Earlier this morning, the North Reading Company of Minute Militia held memorial services at Riverside Cemetery, Harmony Vale Cemetery, the Blue Star Memorial at Ipswich River Park, and Park Street Cemetery for all our deceased veterans. Folks from North Reading have always served our country in time of need, beginning with the French and Indian War, continuing with the Revolutionary War, the War of 1812, the War of 1848, Civil War, Spanish-American War, World Wars I and II, Korean conflict, Vietnam conflict, Operation Urgent Fury, the first Gulf conflict, Operation Iraqi Freedom, and Afghanistan. A special tribute is in order for all these brave soldiers. May all our deceased veterans rest in peace. The roles of honor situated here on the common consists of all those residents of North Reading who went forth from this town to serve their country when called upon during World Wars I and II, Korea, Vietnam, as well as other more recent wars and events. The role of honor to be read this year consists of the following veterans, residents, or former residents of North Reading who have passed away since last year's observance. And they are as follows. Ronald Arsenault, William Burkmeyer, Jr., Herbert Batchelder, Sr., Richard Bowen, Everett Chesley, Robert Kofer, Charles Dimitri, Lyman Fancy II, Thomas Foster Sr., Donald Gonzalo, Philip Hoyt, Richard Johnson, Philip Lawson, Richard Margerson, Edward Paul, Edward Piercy, Philip Spencer, Michael Tiberio, Paul Yanian and Charles Incarnacio, who just passed away the other day. All right. We'll now, in, in uh, honor of all of these people, have a moment, the, all our deceased veterans, I should say, have a moment of silence. Thank you. It will now ask that our colors be retired.
Thank you. I'll repeat. <laughs> we I'll now invite Michael Gibrito, our town administrator, to uh, come up and uh, give us the gov give us Governor Healy's proclamation of the day. And folks, everyone can be seated, please. The Commonwealth of Massachusetts, a proclamation. Whereas, while the nation was still recovering from the Civil War, people in cities and towns across the country gathered to honor the soldiers who had given their lives, celebrating the first Decoration Day. And, whereas, after World War I, the nation came together again to honor those who had fallen in the service of their country. Renamed Memorial Day, the last Monday in May, is when people remember and honor the memory of all the men and women who fought and died in all American wars and conflicts. And, whereas, throughout our country's history, thousands of Massachusetts residents have fought in wars and conflicts to defend our safety and way of life. And, whereas, their legacy of patriotism and dedication to country is an inspiration to all Americans. And whereas, it is appropriate that all Massachusetts, Massachusetts residents remember the bravery of those who gave their lives <clears throat> so that their sacrifices serve as a reminder of the cost of our freedom. Now, therefore, I, Mara T. Healy, Governor of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, do hereby proclaim May 27th, 2024 to be Memorial Day and urge all residents of the Commonwealth to take cognizance of this event and participate fittingly in its observance. And the proclamation is given at the Executive Chamber in Boston this 27th day of May in the year 2024 and in, of the independence of the United States of America the 247th by Our Excellency Mara T. Healy, Governor of the Commonwealth, Kimberly Driscoll, Lieutenant Governor of the Commonwealth, William Francis Galvin, Secretary of the Commonwealth. God save the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. Thank you, sir. Thank you. And I would invite uh, our speaker of the day, who is Leon Gonzalez from the New York North Reading Select Board, to step up and share her comments with us. Thank you so much. Welcome everybody. Wishing the sun would be shining, but it's not raining really hard, so we'll take it, right? Good morning and welcome. Today we gather with a profound sense of gratitude and respect as we commemorate Memorial Day, a day dedicated to honoring the brave men and women who have made the ultimate sacrifice in service to our country. This day is more than a holiday. It is a solemn reminder of the cost of freedom. <coughs> it is a day to reflect on the courage, commitment, and selflessness of those who answered the call to defend our nation, knowing that their duty might lead them to the ultimate sacrifice. In the quiet of this moment, we remember the soldiers, sailors, airmen, and Marines who have laid down their lives in conflicts near and far. They came from every corner of our country, from every walk of life, united in their love for America and their dedication to its principles of liberty and justice. They stood as guardians of our democracy, ensuring that future generations could enjoy the rights and freedoms we hold dear. Their stories are woven into the fabric of our nation's history, each thread a testament to their valor and dedication. We think of the beaches of Normandy, the jungles of Vietnam, and the sands of Iraq and Afghanistan, and countless other places where American blood has been shed. Each battlefield echoes with the legacy of those who fought and fell, reminding us of the heavy price of our freedom. Today we also honor the families left behind, the parents, spouses, children, and siblings who have borne the profound sorrow of loss with dignity and strength. Their sacrifice is equally profound, and their resilience embodies the very spirit of our nation. As we pay tribute, let us also renew our commitment to the values for which these heroes fought. Let us strive to build a nation worthy of their sacrifice, one that upholds the principles of freedom, equality, and justice for all. Let us support our veterans, those who have returned home but carry the invisible scars of war. 
Their service and sacrifice continue, and they deserve our unwavering gratitude and support. On this Memorial Day, let us pledge to remember, let us honor the fallen, not just in words, but through our actions, by living our lives in a manner that respects and upholds the freedoms they died to protect. As we stand here in the peace and freedom they secured, let us stand in reverence and in gratitude for those who gave their all. Their legacy lives on in our hearts, and their sacrifice will never be forgotten. I have a poem to share called A Grateful Nation. A flag we place for each of you, for you fought your battle well. You proudly donned your uniform knowing all too well. You may not make it home one day, you've laid your weapon down. We thank you for your service and the sacrifice you've made so we can sleep in peace at night and not be so afraid. The grace of God was with you to help you stay so brave. We are here to thank you for protect protecting the USA. We honor all our fallen as we kneel on bended knee. You'll forever be remembered in our hearts, our minds, and dreams. We pray with all our hearts that you are now at peace. A grateful nation thanks you for freedom isn't free. And now I would like to ask Susan Magner to please step up. I'm sorry, I'm going to go off. <laughs> I'm going to go off script. <laughs> The select board would like to uh, honor your service. Oh, thank you. And the, and the town administrator. Uh, we did do a, a service for Sue at um, our last meeting, our last select board meeting, and we had a plaque made up. Um, Sue, I will read it presented to Susan Magner in recognition of 16 years of dedicated service to the town of North Reading, including 14 years as Director of Veteran Services, given by the Select Board on behalf of a grateful community, May 20th, 2024. Got it. We're gonna miss her, she's been amazing, not only just doing the job that she's supposed to do, but so much more. I mean, I don't know if other people realize the other towns and communities that reach out to her, because she is the go-to. She's got all the information. <laughs> um, I know she will still be helping out, but um, we will miss her, and we thank her. And our next speaker, our next featured speaker of the day, all the speakers that come up here are featured, and this one's especially featured. Our state representative, Brad Jones. Thank you, Jeff. And I apologize to Linda and Steve for giving my better side. Good morning. It's a privilege for me to join with all of you today as we honor our fallen heroes. But I'd remiss if I didn't start by recognizing the outstanding services and efforts of our retiring veteran service agent, Susan Magner, for her many years of outstanding service, honoring veterans among us and those that have left us, and helping so many get the services and help they need and deserve. Today's ceremony is a reminder of the words inscribed on the Korean War Memorial in Washington. Freedom is not free. Rather, it is an expensive commodity that has been paid for a thousand times over by the men and women we honor today. Since our nation's beginning, nearly 1.4 million Americans have made the ultimate sacrifice to create, preserve, and defend our freedom and democracy. Our own state of Massachusetts has more than 37,000 of its own residents remembered with the planting of flags on Boston Common last week, as well as the planting of flags on our own common this past Thursday. Memorial Day is a day we come together as a community to pay tribute to those Americans who've died in service to the United States. While everyone who served gave something, today we, remember, we gather to remember those who gave everything, to remember those who gave their last full measure of devotion to a cause greater than themselves in service to their country. The members of our military know that when they go off to war, there is a possibility they may never see their loved ones again but they do so with the knowledge they are serving a greater cause. The men and women we honor today left behind mothers and fathers, husbands and wives, sons and daughters. 
They paid with their lives not only so we can be free, but also so our children, our grandchildren, and future generations can continue to enjoy these same freedoms. America is not a perfect country, but it is a great country, because it is always striving to live up to its founding ideals, always bending its arcs toward justice. America is a rich quilt whose diverse people, cultures, and stories are stitched together by the threads of freedom earned by the sacrifices of the Americans we remember and honor today. These stitches have been both strained and reinforced at various times in our nation's history. They were strained to the breaking point by the Civil War that set brother against brother, and they were strengthened by the enormous universal sense of purpose experienced by World War II. Oliver Wendell Holmes called Memorial Day our most sacred holiday. He believed that we should, quote, not ponder with sad thoughts the passing of our heroes, but rather ponder, ponder their legacy, the life they made possible for us by their commitment and pain. It is easy to become complacent at times living in a nation where we enjoy so many freedoms and personal liberties. But we must never forget the many brave men and women who throughout a nation's history have answered the call to serve, and in doing so helped ensure that we remain the land of the free. We are truly fortunate to live in a country where we can practice whatever religion, religion we choose freely and without fear of prosecution, where we can openly criticize the government and not be thrown into jail, and we can vote our leaders in and out of office through fair and free and open elections, and we owe it all to our veterans. So many countries have never known true freedom, but America continues to serve as a beacon of hope for people around the world, thanks to the many sacrifices of our fallen heroes. It is incumbent upon us to always remember not just today, but every day, the many sacrifices made to preserve freedom and democracy throughout this great nation. Our great American quilt again faces challenges that strain those threads holding it together. In the words of Abraham Lincoln at Gettysburg, quote, it is rather for us to be here dedicated to the great task remaining before us, that from these honored dead we take increased devotion to that cause for which they gave their last full measure of devotion that we here highly resolve that these dead shall not have died in vain. I urge all of us gathered here today, gathered across our commonwealth and across our country, to endeavor with a renewed sense of commitment to work together, even in resolving our differences, so that we can strengthen and preserve those threads that bind our great American quilt together. And in doing so, we will ensure that they have not died in vain, but instead have been remembered and honored for the sacrifices that we have earned that we have earned what, we, what they paid for. <coughs> Please join me with in continuing to keep our fallen heroes as well as those men and women who are currently serving at home and abroad in your thoughts and prayers each and every day. Thank you and God bless our veterans and God bless America. Thank you, Brad. Next, we'll have a couple of musical numbers from our North Reading High School band, American March Classics, followed by Military Escort.
Thank you. We're next going to have a, pl uh, a, a placing of the Rees by North Reading VFW Post 10874 under the direction of veteran Dan Mahoney. And once this is completed, we'll have a firing of the volleys by the North Reading Minute and Militia under the command of James, Captain James Maloney, followed by a cannon firing by Knox Artillery Regiment, Sean O'Brien, cannoneer in charge. Quick footnote, the cannon salute will be one shot. It's going to be very loud.
the brand now? Thank you, and we'll ask Pastor Kevin Mickle to come forth with the benediction. And that will be followed by God Bless America for the high school band. This will be me. Oh. 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 
Before we close in prayer, I'd have a little something I'd like to share with you. There are rows of white crosses lined up in a field somewhere. Flying above them is a flag, but it's not from around there. The mighty fallen rest in peace, dying in a land that was not their own, bringing freedom to the locals, winning them great renown. Where liberty exists today, you do not, look to ha you do not have to look very far to find those rows of white crosses, which will ever be the cost of war. They came not as conquerors, not to take what was not theirs, but to give freedom to the oppressed, to them and to their heirs. They demanded not in return, but came to do a job that had to be done. They asked only for a place for those who sacrifice. The battle was won. Ye sons of freedom, hold your heads up high, for today you have the peace for which your fathers did cry. But when the time is right and you pass along your way, tip your hat to those rows of white crosses and to the American soldiers that sleep beneath them to this day. Will you pray with me, please? Father, as our time here grows to a close, we thank you for all that we have seen and done here today. We hope that we have been honorable in your sight, and we offer now a special prayer for those who stand on the line in harm's way. Protect them, Lord, so that they may not need to be memorialized in the days to come. Be with all those who stand in line, and be with us as we remember them, we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, we're going to have a uh, delay just one more minute. We're going to have a little message from uh, Debbie Aldridge. Good morning. Thank you all for coming. I just wanted to let you know behind the veterans have their own float. Behind the float, the Veterans Events Committee are going to be passing out flyers. This year we're doing wreaths across America. Each wreath is $17. On the flyer, there's a QR code. Um, if you would like to donate a wreath to a veteran, the laying of the wreaths will be December 14th. Click on the QR code, or there's also a website that you can do. Go on, look at the website, and please donate. Thank you. Now we'll ask the North Reading High School Band to proceed with the closing number, God Bless America.
Thank you. Special, special thanks again to the North Reading High School Band under the direction of uh, drum major Isabel Kim. And I wanted to thank everyone who helped us this morning, and especially the uh, trumpeters that we had. Excellent job at the cemeteries as well as here. I also want to do a shout out if he's still here. He is. I don't know if he's going to hear me or not, but uh, Gordon Hall is still a member of our company. He directed the firing of the muskets today. He's been with us every year since, I think, 1974. So, special thanks to Gordon. And with that, I'll close, and we thank you all for coming, and it was an amazing turnout especially considering the weather. Thanks again.
you make out?
Can I try these? Oh, they're good. Yeah, I need to try them. Yeah.